ओके गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू इन द खुड प्रोडक्टिव खुड दिस इज ट्वेंटी फोर्थ मई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सिक्स फोर्टी नाइन पी एम एंड एज ऑलवेज वेर इन रश एंड आई वो कीटिविटी स्ट्रीक फॉरवर्ड एंड ट्राई फिनिशिंग एंड रैपिंग अप दिस सेशन इन लाइक द नेक्स्ट टेन मिनट्स एंड लेट्स यू फी कैन डू इट आई वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट दिस राइट बिफोर हिटिंग रिकॉर्ड इज दिस द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल थिंग अबाउट इन द खुड इज इट्स ऑलवेज it always keeps me on my toes like it never gives you the chance to relax and be like okay we'll think about a video we'll think about what has to be done just every day a video is due and every day you're in a rush that's why it's the most successful project that i've done anyway so on my screen you see the beautiful beautiful 3d building that i have worked on um and uh, today the whole day i i did a lot of things today that's why the productivity thing but i will just quickly show you how i have recreated the whole geometry node structure again but this time it is a lot more sophisticated i exactly know what i have done where i have done and uh, it just makes a lot more sense for contrast if i was to open my original file this is what my original file looked like and uh, the result is more or less the same except for the terrace modeling uh, because that is something that i have added later and uh, it's it's a lot difficult to navigate that's one thing and the geo nodes structure here uh this this kind of complication i think a lot of it is basically just trial and error because it was my first time making such a huge node tree by myself figuring things out and all of that a lot of it is also animation based and for animation i'm trying to do a very different thing here where uh, in the newer version of it i'm just going to like make a few dependencies in this node tree itself you see it's the same thing right but with a lot fewer nodes and a lot more cleaner system and i can even go ahead and like hide these a few of these nodes so it will be even more cleaner uh but and even here you see this entire section is unnecessary but yeah we definitely made progress in terms of an understanding of the system which is very important because they plan to use this asset more and more and more as i'm making one more video and more videos out of this so i needed to have like a proper structure one thing i'm still concerned about though is if you see this file is at 438 mb and uh, i have a feeling if i come in here and say file clean up and use data blocks so two data blocks clean up and again this one i will have to see why it is at 438 mb because there are no heavy uh, textures as such like 4k images or anything and here i have also not uh done like in the previous one previous version i was doing distribute points on faces which is one thing i've understood is don't do distribute points on faces just do instance on points on like a simple curve and that works a lot better and you have a lot more control over things instead of distributing things over faces and even here this climber thing right i decimated this twice and while i was actually making the node tree i was trying to run obs because i have to even make a bts video for this uh um, for the agency's instagram or something uh like just a just a general thing so i will probably have to take bits and parts from that as well and i decimated this a couple of times because it was at like 300000 faces just one of these uh which is definitely adding to the number of words he's overall in the scene but yeah definitely i have to work on optimizing this this is one new addition i did just using the boolean modifier just cut out a cube uh in which was in the case earlier so this is nice and everything else is just the same the bottom modeling is still left again there'll be like a few more nodes here for uh, the car and everything you don't need maybe i can even add that in the node tree i don't know i just keep it for building as such but yeah i want to put all of that into a proper animation system just quickly going through how it is so if i start from the bottom obviously you see podium pillar floor this is an extra thing i don't need it so podium floor is all of these are basically my values in the modifier that i can access over here Okay so I can come in here and everything is depend on the podium right so I have to increase the podiums oh yeah I haven't linked the climber situation with the podium floors and the point I'm trying to say is this podium floor is affects everything at the top okay uh this pillar floor also no this is not linked the clubhouse floors will affect everything at the top right um and obviously the building floors is something you can play with like how however tall your building is uh that is uh, respect irrespective even you can increase the terrace floors i mean uh, that in in itself doesn't make any sense but if you want to you have the option to do that as well so podium floors is going into mesh line very simple stuff mesh line is like making instances here 
uh, of this collection of podium now here this is one interesting thing podium top floor we use separate geometry for these on these instances so separate geometry as instance and uh, separate it wherever you are subtracting podium floors minus one that is your index so let's say there are five podium floors five minus one four wherever the index is four you want to separate that so if you see uh, counting starts from zero so zero like an array in javascript so zero one two three four every time this will be index minus uh, will be yeah the index of this will be number of podium floors minus one so that's how you get the podium top floor and the very obvious thing is if you just subtract one this way from the whole situation you will get all the floors except the top floor and this i was separating these two things out because i want to distribute points on faces for this climber part but that as i said that's not really the ideal way to do it so instead i just made two simple curves and here i resampled this curve like out of this geometry i took a curve out and resampled it and now i can very easily control the amount of geometry that will be here and it's uh, not too laggy on the system as well okay and i think the same is the situation here as well instance some points there's a po i can even add a resample curve here alt p and this i think is a mesh situation so mesh to curve yeah so that is now even this has like modular control over things so what this basically does is resampling curve you have made everything very very uh, symmetric and that's okay that's what you want so yeah this is like a better way of doing it than distribute points and faces that's it that's for podium and then as we keep going up the like podium you come to pillars you just for again for pillars this distribution earlier what i had done was like very weirdly selecting some parts and pushing them ahead <laughs> that's not needed at all uh, again instance on points i've used the same technique for everything clubhouse floor is here you don't need anything you just have to make sure that you're adding up uh, as you keep going ahead and uh, building floors then there is stairs over here you will have to add a few times because you have to add the podium then the clubhouse and then the building and then that is your the offset that you will get from here okay i think i have pretty much covered everything at 738 and i'm um, really looking forward to completing this project tomorrow hopefully no edit work or anything comes out of nowhere uh, i can't guarantee it just happens so that is that other than that i was working on a bunch of videos I edited a bunch of videos yesterday where I said that for my full time job I've done a bunch of referencing sessions and everything every single month. So I wanted to make like a catalog out of them and I uploaded all of them to my YouTube channel in the form of an uh, of a unlisted playlist. So a few of them are missing here because I don't seem to have the recording for it and the other thing is I uh, in a few of those sessions i was not recording the desktop audio so it's just my voice on the microphone and not their voice so that's the thing but this i feel is a very very uh, helpful resource especially for anyone who wants to who's to join new if you just go through these videos there's so ton of so much of education that i've done with the team and i'm glad that i have this uh, awareness of documenting it and cataloging it somewhere uh, this will be especially very helpful as well if i happen to leave the agency for anyone who comes in my place to just get an idea of how the team has been structured and been working uh, so far so that is one amazing thing that took a significant amount of time other than that i, I also in the morning worked on uh, the i was working a little bit on uh, file open recently was character test 2 <laughs> yeah so i thought i can just take the mesh because what i discovered is that human gen uh, what it's doing with the cloth is right i took a new character and i try to see why it is working here and not working with my mesh like it was doing something weird yesterday if you remember and that is because the mesh itself has shape keys on it so if you see these shape keys here you cannot see it these shape keys like when the elbow is bent at a certain point you have the shape key doing certain things right and that is what and and that's attached to like drivers you see the shape of the t-shirt itself changes when you lift the the armature or the bones which control the elbows up so that's something they have put it right so i was like uh, i can probably make my own clothing and do it so i just duplicated the mesh and did it that way and here this works perfectly fine like if i was to just come in here and move this around this works like exactly like it should 
uh, except for the cloth i was trying to do like a fashionable thing where it's give it metallic texture and a weird color and uh, over here again did the face set thing where uh, i was like you just check if i can go into and this one go into the sculpt mode and using the pose brush let's grab right now let's try and do the cloth simulation thing which is something i'd covered a while back uh, but anyway this is where the progress was i still have to figure what needs to be done there and on that note i think this is the right time to end this documentation pretty rushed but there are a few things i still have to figure so we'll keep you updated on the progress from tomorrow thanks so much for being in the code i'll catch you tomorrow peace